Show your support to the channel and buy super thanks. Come on, use the back. Mass on the back now. Oh. What a technique. Mm. Yeah. In there? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Mighty pullovers. Uh. That's the way. I love this machine, it's the best uh, machine you can get for the back because it's the only machine that isolates the lats without the biceps and it's going full range from here all the way down 180 degrees. Arthur Jones founder of Original Nautilus came with the pullover in 1948. After 27 different models and after 22 years in 1970s he came with the first pullover machine. He designed the pullover to put all the load on elbows, he found that we hardly work on the width of back with free weight. He developed the cam so that it will be easy for the movement at the beginning at the middle and the end of the set. Later he came with the pin loaded in the 80s and duo poly in the late 80s. The science of training is, really comes from a guy called Arthur Jones. And back in the early 70s he developed the Nautilus training machines. They're probably the best workout machines ever made though, like, you know, 50 years old. This is your Nautilus Spider Cam Pullover. This machine is from the 70s. There are a couple adjustments that we'd like to point out on this. This is where we load the plates. We do want to point out that it does not take 45 pound plates. You have to use 25s or smaller because it would hit this pulley right here. Secondly, we wanted to point out where, we, where you adjust the seat. We fabricate an adjustable seat. You pull the knob right here. You want to position the seat at a level when you're sitting on there. You want your shoulder in line right about here at the center of the cam. Okay, so we'll go ahead and sit on the machine. Put the seat belt on. Use the foot lever. That'll bring this towards you. Place your hands on underhand. Pull all the way down to your waist. Push with your elbow and pull with your lap versus pulling with your hands. When you're done, the most important part take the foot lever and let this go back easy just because it is a time machine and we want to take care of this and that is our Nautilus spider cam pullover right Nautilus pullover first generation pullover um, you see loads of different variations if you use it they're too high too low they are not getting the right contraction so quick video of how to use it properly the shoulder wants to be in line with the cams so have your shoulder just in line or slightly below where these cams are, which is this silver part here, just in line there. So jump on, I'm just in line. Alright, strap yourself in, seatbelt's there for a reason. You can properly lock yourself in, not concentrate on pulling yourself down, and you can just concentrate on moving. Bring the bar over, bring the bar around, you can hold your hands in the crevice what it was designed to do, or you can use underarm. Everyone's seen Dorian Yates do the underarm movement. I prefer to have my arm overhand, my hands overhand, slightly narrower on the bar works best for me. With every, every piece of kit, especially this one, or every piece of kit in the gym, move your body around the equipment. Not the equipment, the equipment won't move around your body. So move your body around it to find the sweet spots that hits your muscles the best. For me, it's there. All the way back, down. I see some people stop in there. That's like, you, you're losing the best part of the movement. Get it right the way back in to your hips or the lower part of your stomach. Get it right the way back, drive the elbows back in the movement. So there again, all the way back, right the way back into the crease of your hips and drive your elbows back. If you're hitting your thighs, with the bar as you're coming down, you're too high on the seat. Lower it down. That's the pullover. This, with the plate loader, the mechanics are better on this. The later ones, they made them wider and it puts a bit of strain on the shoulders and so on, but this one is excellent.